everybody thanks for tuning in I just wanted to pass along a couple of tips for you before you order those riding boots online just to make sure that they fit properly um, you'll want to make sure that the measurements that you'll take correspond to the shaft of the boot that you're ordering and the shaft of the boot is just the longest part of the boot so what you'll need to gather that information is a tape measure and then you'll want to go ahead and measure the widest part of your calf that'll be your first measurement and then you'll want to measure from the arch bottom of the arch of your foot to the back where your knee bends the back of your leg where the knee bends now you can take this measurement from the inside of your leg like this um, you could also take it from the back but I would recommend from the bottom of the arch because uh, usually the measurements of the boot uh, go from the arch where the, and then they kind of measure the whole zipper. So you want to get those two pieces of information and compare it to the information that they give you in the description of the boot that you're ordering and this will ensure that it will fit around your calf and that it, it will be the length of the boot that you're, or the height of the boot rather, that you're looking for. I'm going to show you a couple of measurements of uh, a couple of pairs of boots that I have just so you can see that it does make a difference and stay tuned I'll be right back so let's take a look at a couple of boots here this first boot the shaft is measuring at 15 inches the circumference on the widest part of the calf is measuring at around almost like 15 and a half the second boot has a shaft of 12 inches and then the circumference on the widest part of the calf is measuring at 15. So keep that in mind when you are ordering boots online and that will save you a lot of hassle and hopefully it'll save you from a return okay so clearly you can see that knowing the uh, length of the shaft of the boot uh, will totally make a difference in how the boot actually looks on your leg and so I hope this information helps you. If so, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe for updates from HowIWearIt.com. And if you have any questions that you'd like to have answered, feel free to drop them in the comment box. Uh, also, if you would like to contribute to How I Wear It to inspire others, go ahead and visit the website. And you can send any pictures that you have to be featured to feature at HowIWearIt.com. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.